Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon, Bangalore. Endoscopic strict craniectomy and helmet therapy is a type of treatment which we usually do when children with non-syndromic single suture craniosynostosis come to us before 6 months of age. Now before 6 months of age, there is a lot of potential for the skull to grow. So we can get away with a really small operation. So what we do in this operation is basically we make a small cut above the fused suture and then using an endoscope, we take out the fused suture. For example, in a metopic synostosis, we make a small cut here behind the hairline and we take out this whole strip of fused suture uh, from the skull. And after this surgery is done, helmet therapy is started usually one week to 10 days after surgery. Now, this is a very simple operation and a small operation. None of our babies have required any blood transfusion. We do not require any ICU stay. And as compared to the open cranial vault remodeling, babies stay with us only for one day or maximum two days in the hospital. It is a safer surgery. It is a quicker surgery and this requires no blood transfusion. Now, after the surgery is done and the wound is healed, what we usually do is we uh, schedule an appointment with our orthotist. Our orthotist takes some scans of the skull and then we send it off and a 3D printed helmet is prepared. Now, this 3D printed helmet needs to be used almost 20 to 23 hours in a day for the next one year or so. Usually, two or three helmets might be required. For example, the first helmet, first three, four months, and then once the skull has grown enough, we might have to replace the helmet again. Now, this 3D printed helmet, along with the advice by a really expert orthotist, can give excellent results in normalizing the shape of the skull. Now, we work very closely with the orthotist after the surgery to ensure that the orthotic helmet therapy goes smoothly for our patients. Now, endoscopic strip craniectomy and helmet therapy can be done only when children come to us before six months of age. And this can be done only in single suture craniosynostosis. That is only if a metopic synostosis is involved or only if one coronal suture is involved or only if one sagittal suture is involved. This is not an option for multi-suture craniosynostosis or syndromic craniosynostosis. Now, endoscopic strip craniectomy and helmet therapy was introduced in India by one of my mentors, Dr. Derek, in this hospital. And we are the only center in India to offer this treatment as of now. 